Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to do what if analysis in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get start. I have imported one data set from an Excel workbook uh, regarding the sales database. And there are multiple fields here like product, month, customer, sales, region, quarter. So let's quickly first create a line chart. So I will go to the visualizations pane and I will click on line chart. So a blank line chart object will appear on the canvas. Now I will put uh, sales on this line chart and the order date, simply drag and drop. And I want to get rid of this uh, hierarchy. So I will right click on this uh, order date in the axis and I will just select the order date from here. All right, so now you can see here uh, a line chart starting from 2012 till 2014. So this is three years of data and you can see some outliers as well. All right, so now I will add a quickly one slicer on this canvas. So I will go to again visualizations pane and I will click on slicer here and I will drag the order dates all right so from now this order date slicer i will pick the start date and the end date as well so i will click on this first box so a calendar kind of view will open right and you can click on the month so you will have a drop down list so i will start selecting from uh, january 2014 1st January 2014 and then also it will end date will be December 2014 and that will be 31st December so now you can see that the slicer has been dragged to a one certain portion and it's showing me uh, sales for starting from January 2014 till December 2014 now I, now I will create one uh, measure uh, and uh, I will teach you that how to uh, which will uh, be basically based on getting the last year sales and I will put on this line chart so for this either I can uh, create that explicit measure in my this sales DB table or I can create another new table to make sure that all the measures goes in a separate table so for doing that uh, I will go to the modeling tab and I will click on new table so it will take few seconds a formula bar will appear and here you don't need to do anything just press the enter key so that a new table can be created so on the right side you can see on the fields area a new table has been created and all my measures will go here so that it will uh, be more focused that my measures in basically in, in one table rather than in multiple or uh, in different tables so now I want to rename this table as well so I will just right click and click on rename and I can give a nice name to this table which is measure table okay so after renaming this uh, table now I will right click on this table and I will click on new measure because I need a new measure okay so we will give a name to the measure that will be last year sales and to get into the next line within this formula bar you can press shift enter key so i will start writing dax calculate sum of sales db which is the table name and then column name comma enter and in the filter function argument I will add a DAX which is date add the dates will come from again sales DB order dates then I have to go back 12 months because I need sales for the last year so I will write minus 12 here and I will go month wise okay and close the bracket so this is how you can write DAX in Microsoft Power BI. So after pressing enter, you will get a new measure in your measures table. 
that is last year sales now I will drag this and I will drop this on my line chart right so now you can see that uh, uh, you you can see a last year sales here which is of 2013 right now we will create a, a new parameter which is called what if analysis so let's do it for doing that you have to click on modeling tab and then click on new parameter and here we need to fill uh, these fields in what if parameter dialog window so first we will give a name and in the data type we will select the decimal number the minimum will be one and the maximum will be two uh, the one means that uh, this will be the actual sales for the last year with zero percent increase and two means that hundred percent increase increment of uh, 0.01 and by default we want to place it to 1.1 that is uh, the 10% rise or 10% increase and uh, the check mark will be by default on add slicer to this page right and uh, now I will press ok and before pressing ok let me rename it so that you can understand let's give a nice name sales percent increase okay so that we can understand that what kind of what if analysis we are doing so uh, nice and good names are always better so let me press ok and you will observe that in the fields area in the fields pane a new table has been created right sales percentage increase right and if I go to the data view and let me show you so basically there are two things uh, the first in this table there is one column which is sales percentage increase which we have uh, uh, generated a series from 1 till maximum 2 and and an increase of 0 0.01 right and uh, then also one more DAX which is sales percentage incre increase in which we have uh, in which uh, the Power BI has added selected value our main purpose is to basically link this particular what if analysis object uh, to this uh, line chart okay so how we can do that so again I will go to my measure table and this time I will right click on this measure table and I will click on new measure okay so let's create a measure so first we will define a name which is goal and then shift enter to get into the new line so we will say that last year sales into sales percentage increase value and that's it press the enter key okay so we will get back to the line chart uh, so we will click on the line chart and uh, instead of last year sales from the major stable you can see that uh, on currently on this uh, particular line chart we have uh, dragged the last year sales so instead of that measure we will uncheck this and we will drag the goal on this line chart right and now you can see that when I increase the percentage here So you can see you can observe that the line is being increasing right right you can also change the color as well of this line as well so in the format area you will find data colors and let me change the color of the coal into black color all right so now you can see that as I drag this uh, my what if analysis percentage like 30 percent uh, or 68 percent so now we can compare uh, the current year sales and we can uh, focus what if the per what if the sales uh, based on the last year was uh, increased by 39 percent right okay so I hope that you learn how to do this uh, what if analysis by writing uh, the DAX right and also adding the new parameter from the modeling tab 
uh, furthermore we can do analytics as well from this line chart and we can also summarize this line chart as well that what is happening so I will just right click on this line chart and from this contextual menu I will click on summarize so this is also a new feature added in the recent versions of uh, Power BI and I am using February 2021 desktop version so now you can see that within few seconds uh, this summarize option basically gives some narrations that what is hope happening in this particular line chart right so there is no human involvement uh, in this particular summary to generate and uh, it is uh, automatically can and it is very much dynamic uh, whenever we change the criteria from here for example if I increase the what if analysis percent so you can see that the numbers in the summaries are also getting changed or if I just select some few more dates and when if I customize them so you can see that the summary is automatically being changing right so this is very much dynamic uh, and interactive as well with the object that is the line chart all right so further to add it we can also do some analysis if we find something uneven is happening in the data for example at this outlier I will just right click and I will click on I will go to analyze and I will click on explain this increase so within few seconds power bi application will guide you that what are those reasons which is making this number as an outlier so it analyzes from a different angles and uh, very quickly it gives some some uh, waterfall charts with uh, different combination of fields available in the data set so you can analyze and give reason that why it is happening and what was the main cause of it so you can do further analysis as well right so i hope you like this video do share it thank you